I'm going to briefly show you how to use the clone tool to tackle under eye circles um, for when the brush isn't working. You know, the adjustment brush, especially the um, fixed under eye circles brush in the Perfect Portrait collection we have. That's my go to, but when there's times I can't get it just what I want, I'll use this clone trick. Okay, so this image is straight out of the camera, all right? And I am going to use one preset with it, and it's going to be Serendipity. I uh, just love that. It's one of my go-to. It's out of the Bohemian film, Bohemian uh, set, and I just think it's gorgeous. Love it, love it, love it. And, you know, I might want to just brighten a little bit, maybe just a little bit. And so what I'm going to do is take the clone tool, and I want the feather to be significant. That's how much it's blending in around it. And then the opacity is going to be pretty low. might even start lower than that. And now this one I probably could fix with the brush, with the fixed under eye circles brush, but I just want to use this as an illustration because their under eye circles were nice and big. All right, so I'm going to make my brush just a little, now this isn't a brush, it's the circle, it's the clone brush, really. It's not an adjustment brush. And I'm just going to click and drag. Now it's going to give me, it's going to suggest a spot to clone, and I don't want that. So I'm going to take it and drag it to an area that's near the problem area because that way the light and the colors can be very similar okay and if I want more of it to be uh, concealed I can increase the opacity like that I'll do it again over here just click and drag all right I'm gonna pull it way up you know and if it suggests an area that's really weird and way far away but it still looks okay use it it doesn't have to be right next to this all right, so let's say I'm done, and we can, so, oh, that's what I, exactly what I wanted right there. So this is before and after of the um, serendipity with and without the under eye circles fixed. So here, and it's slight, remember? The point with um, when you fix under eye circles is you, it needs to be slight and you need to allow them to still have some under eye circles so they still look like themselves and they still look human and not like a mannequin. So you can see how it's darker here and it's lighter, but it's, there's, there's still one there and here you know, it's darker and then it's lighter. Now again, I could probably fixed it with under eye circle brush, but this was a, just a good example of using that clone tool to... Uh, fix under eye circles for when the brush isn't working for you, when you need more than that. And so I hope you enjoy this uh, little trick and that uh, you just put it in your little arsenal of things to use when you are uh, editing portraits.